It's definitely hard to say what's more important in between training and mental strength because I think both are really, really important into snowboarding and into progressing tricks. Utter disappointment, a total shocker. I started snowboarding when I was nine, and from nine till 16 years old, um, I never put a feet in the gym. Then I realized actually what protects your bones are the muscles, and then I started working out with Eve, my trainer. Since then, I've never had any big injuries. I'm touching wood. <laughs> I met him here in the gym for the uh, first time. He was just training alone by yourself. Told me what kind of training he was doing, so I tell him uh, you're not doing, I think, the right training. It's definitely hard to say what's more important in between training and mental strength because I think both are really, really important into snowboarding and into progressing tricks. Jump in Whistler definitely helped. You just want to focus on your tricks you're going to do for the next contest. And this is what I did. And coming to this event, I also felt pretty confident because I definitely had a lot of repetition in that camp. I never got a gold medal over here, so it's definitely something I want to put a check next to it in my book. So Max right now feels like he's in a really secure position, but there's a lot of different scenarios that could come out. There is a lot of pressure for him to get a landed run. This is the final rider that can mix up that top 10. Chris Corning is having himself a Cinderella story here at the US Open today. Will Max Perot shatter that dream? Backside 1080 double court from Max Perot. Oh, Frontside 1080 oh, double court. A total shocker. Max Sans Perot does not advance to the finals. The man who just put down one of the first quad corks in competition history does not advance to finals. I was really frustrated after my second run. If you like fall in during the finals, it doesn't really matter because you just did everything you can to get the gold medal. But now I didn't even have a chance to do a run to get that gold medal. If next week doesn't go well for Max in Norway, he still does have a lot of opportunities to, to qualify for the team uh, in the summer and the fall, but there is a lot of pressure for him um, to do well in those events leading into 2018. Tomorrow I'll be cheering for Seb Toots. Uh, I definitely want him to win. Really though, I would be happy to see anybody of the Canadians, so hopefully one of them can win or even just sweep it. I'm just gonna leave this contest behind and move on to the next contest, which will be X Games. I will have slope style and big air. There will be part of the qualifying system for the games next year, so it will definitely be an important contest. <laughs>